Hanak, Enoch 59. In the 500th year and in the seventh month, on the 14th day of the month of the lifetime of Hanak, in that parable, I saw that the heaven of heavens shook, that it shook violently, and that the powers of El Elyon and the angels, thousands and thousands and myriads of myriads, were agitated with great agitation. And when I looked, the Ancient of Days was sitting on the throne of his glory, while the angels and Kodeshim were standing around him. A great trembling came upon me, and terror seized me. My loins were bowed down and loosened. My mind was dissolved, and I fell upon my face. The holy Mikael, another holy angel, one of the holy ones, was sent, who raised me up. And when he raised me, my Ruach returned. For I was incapable of enduring this vision of violence, its agitation, and the concussion of heaven. Then holy Mikael said to me, Why are you disturbed at this vision? Hitherto has existed the day of mercy, and he has been merciful and long-suffering towards all who dwell upon the earth. But when the time shall come, then the power, the punishment, and the judgment which Yahuwah Savaoth has prepared for those who prostrate themselves to the judgment of righteousness, for those who abjure that judgment, and for those who take his name in vain. That day has been prepared for the elect as a covenant, and for sinners as an inquisition. In that day shall be disturbed two monsters, a female monster whose name is Leviathan, dwelling in the depths of the sea, above the springs of waters, and a male monster, whose name is Behemoth, which possesses on his breast the invisible wilderness. His name was Dendeen, in the east of the garden, where the elect and the righteous will dwell, where he received it from my ancestor, who was man, from Adam, the first of men, whom Yahuwah Savaot made. Then I asked of another angel to show me the power of those monsters, how they became separated how they became separated on the same day, one in the depths of the sea and one in the dry desert. And he said, You, son of Adam, are here desirous of understanding secret things. And the angel of peace, who was with me, said, these two monsters are by the power of Elohim prepared to become food. That the punishment of Elohim may not be in vain. Then shall children be slain with their mothers and sons with their fathers. And when the punishment of Yahuwah Savaot shall continue, upon them shall it continue, that the punishment of Yahuwah Savaot 
may not take place in vain. After that, judgment shall exist with mercy and long-suffering.